Get up first. All right, sure. Coach, end of camp kind of approaching. How have things been, been going? How have I, I think we've gotten better. You know, I know we've gotten in better shape. we still got a little ways to go. But every day we do more situational stuff that our guys need to learn, and I've been on them pretty hard about understanding the down and distance where we're at. And so we're getting there. Tomorrow's going to be a, uh, a good practice in shorts, and then Saturday we're going to scrimmage and get, try to get at least 100 plays in. What do you like about uh, Francisco Nelson and Jalen Cochran and what kind of what they've shown you so far? Well, they're, they're two long athletic guys that uh, kind of a hybrid defensive end type that, that we need. Um, and, you know, they, they got to get in the weight room. They got to get stronger, but they both got really good futures, I think. Yeah. They have the type of frame you kind of want in a guy like Yeah, that. you know, we, we've said that we got to get longer, more athletic on defense, and they kind of fit that uh, body type. Part of the whole effort to improve defensively, obviously, is to create more turnovers. How do you kind of generate that mentality in practice? Well, I think every coach is searching for that. I mean, you do drill work to help with that. I think more than anything, uh, you can create turnovers by trying to create some confusion, getting a lot of guys around the ball, and then when the ball presents itself, whether it's uh, somebody carrying it loosely or a quarterback throwing it, you got to attack it. Those donuts that the guys are using to tackle, is that a new product? Yeah, it's, been, it's very, pretty simple, really. A lot of people are using it just trying to, to to find ways to get better at tackling. There's also a thing come out that's, I don't think hit, it's hit the market yet, this motorized practice dummy that I think is gonna be really neat. Whenever they uh, start making those, I can see a lot of colleges using that as well. Do you watch Hard Knocks? I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Using that was just on there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess some of the pros got the, the, the prototype and, and using it, but I think it's a great tool and a uh, great invention. And they're probably pretty costly. So I'll have to talk to Greg about that, but I don't think they have enough for the, for the college level yet. I hope they do because we'd like to get some. What has impressed you about Coach Yates and how he's handled taking Well, it? he's, you know, when I hired him, I told him I'm hiring a personality that one that knows football and what he wants to do, but also is willing to look at some new stuff and, you know, kind of be a consensus builder amongst the defensive staff and get everybody on the same page. And he's got the right temperament that I think the, the defensive staff can all buy into. What has Derek Holmes showed you in camp? He's got better. He's made some plays. We challenged him. You know, he was kind of in the in the doghouse a little bit, and we've tried to, to, to challenge him to be uh, more productive, be more committed. And so far in camp, he's done that. Is John Kenny a guy who can help you on defense? Yeah, I think so. I, I'm not sure what our depth chart is, but not only on that, but on special teams. You know, he's a tough guy that's uh, got some athleticism, so I think he's in the rotation. What do you think about the new Twitter rule with uh, recruiting him? Coaches can retweet. Oh well, I think it's you know for guys that do it, I guess the assistant coaches that are that are on to, into Twitter quite a bit. I think it's good. I'm not, as my daughter says, I have no Twitter game, so <laughs> and I didn't post a whole lot because uh, I just don't think I'm that interested in what people people aren't interested in what I want to say. But I think it's I think that's a useful tool. But I don't think any kid's gonna come to your school because you retweeted yeah. uh, something that they did. Uh, but as far as communication and assistance more than anything, building a relationship, it may help. We talked about some guys who switched positions. Uh, Benene, it seems like he's settling in. Yeah, he's uh, Defensive he's line, in. is that the place for him? Yeah, we need big bodies, and he's that. I mean, he's ever been of that, and he's worked hard. You know, he wasn't in the mix uh, on the O-line, and really he wasn't in the mix in D-line. That's why we moved him back over, but he's worked really hard, and, you know, he's a big, tough guy, so I think he'll help us with has Sonny proven to be a leader on that line? Yeah, no question. And not only on the line, but in the team. You know, he's a mature guy. He's been around. Uh, he's, and more than anything, he's worked his tail off. And to see the way he runs sprints and the way he's conditioned himself is, is a really good example for all the young players. Daily quarterback questions, because I know how much you love them. Um, so Brian Kelly said yesterday that he's going to play both of his quarterbacks in the opener in Texas. Good for Brian. Can't, yeah. is, is, that some, is something like that uh, feasible for you? Yeah, I play, play both guys. You know, I don't, uh, I like Brian. He's a good friend of mine, but I don't, I'm not following Notre Dame. We don't play him. But yeah, if we got two guys ready to win, we'll play two. If we got three, we'll play three. Pretty simple. Parker Zeller is the guy who keeps finding himself on the field. How's he looking in camp? And good. He's a great competitor, loves the game. He hadn't grown any, but. Uh, <laughs> I think that's we're past that deal, but you know he still plays with chip on his shoulder, which is a good example of a guy that came as a as a walk on that earned a scholarship, but yet he's still trying to prove himself. That's pretty neat, I think. What makes it so hard for him to put on weight? Well, I don't think it's so much weight. Just you know, he's vertically challenged, maybe. And uh, you know, you get to that age, you're not getting any taller, but that's okay. He can get stronger and faster, and that's what he's done.